It's you, it's 4 a.m. on this Tuesday, December the 13th, and here are today's top headlines. We're following breaking news from Culver City. That's where one person is in the hospital after a carjacking. We're live with the latest. Police searching for vandals who kicked holiday lights and slashed multiple inflatable decorations in Westminster. Coal in their stocking, for sure. Wildlife officials capture LA's most famous mountain lion. Details on how they caught the big cat. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Hey, good morning to you on this Tuesday. I'm Chris Shaw. I'm Megan Henderson. We appreciate you being with us. Uh, we're going to check your roads with Ginger. Welcome back. Come yeah. out shortly. First, let's talk weather. Chilly, chilly. Very chilly out there. That's going to get your attention. Uh, it is great to see you. Uh, you. Welcome back, as, as Megan mentioned. We're talking about a chilly day, sunny though. We're going to get a little break from the sun, uh, from the rain, so I think that's some good news there. We got some decent rain. Yeah. Yeah, we got And thunder. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah, uh, definitely interesting. All right, here we go. Let's head outside. We'll talk about your forecast. We have temperatures today that will be on the cool side, not just to start you off, but also ending up with temperatures well below the average. This could turn out to be the coolest day of the week with many of our inland valleys struggling to get to 60 degrees today. We do have some frost out there as well. Mostly clear in the high desert. That'll get that temperature down right around freezing for you. And lots of 50s, upper 50s, even the IE struggling maybe not even hitting 55 today, but we are mostly clear, plenty of sunshine, and the mountains will look absolutely fantastic. Today, it's all about the chilly temperatures, which we'll talk more about throughout the morning. Ginger will send it over to you. I know, I think in Arcadia, like just an hour ago, it was like 37, 38 degrees, so it's crazy when you think about what the temperatures are like. Now, for us, we do have a couple of things going on. Last thing is you want to break down in the cold temps, right, and get out of your heated car, that kind of thing. So they're calling this the 101 Westbound side, right about Haskell Avenue, where they're saying it was a pretty serious crash or wait for the tow truck to get on scene. I mean, look at the delays. And it's only 402 on this Tuesday, so probably because of the interchange and then the crash is bad enough that they may stop lanes so they get the tow units to the scene. And we want to take you over to LAX. Tuesday's not always those busy days, but everything's changing and shifting. And we're talking about how we're going to get those sun sunny skies, with me which means clock over not here and you can see it everything is really really good really nice if your plans take you here or once you arrive all right guys i'll send it back to you ginger thank you breaking news police searching for a carjacking suspect believed to be hiding out in a culver city neighborhood this is live look at the scene officers are trying to track down the thief it all started about 1 30 this morning when four people stole a vehicle from a gas station a few blocks away it was on the corner of washington and fairfax one person was taken to the hospital it's not clear how they were injured soon after one of the thieves was spotted ditching a car at jacob street and Caroline Avenue. He was seen jumping over a fence and into the backyard of nearby homes. Police have now set up a perimeter to look for that suspect. It's unknown what happened to the other three thieves, but officers did notice a second vehicle that appeared to be circling the neighborhood. That driver is now being questioned by police. Henry mentioned this, boy, is it cold outside. Overnight temps reach near freezing in some spots. Yeah, that's prompted officials to issue a frost advisory. KTLA's Carlos Herrera live in Santa Clarita with those details. Carlos, good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, this is one of the many areas here in Southern California that is under that frost advisory, and you can definitely sense it. You can feel it. The wind just blows through this area. Take a look. This infamous uh, thermometer here in Canyon Country. It says it's 5.03 a.m., but that's not correct. 33 degrees right now here uh, in this area. You can definitely feel it. A lot of people bundled up this morning. Don't expect much change, at least throughout the day today in many of our areas. Sal Salcedo met you here this morning.